What's up, dorks? Today we're gonna learn about modern themes and why you should love them. If you don't, I'll convince you to. Maybe you're familiar with the old way of theming your app, where you're configuring every single color and control in your app, or you've used a theme template to configure it for you. Either way, it's pretty painful, right? Modern themes are a feature that's currently in preview that Microsoft is working on that allow you to configure a color and a font to globally style your entire app with just one click. Let's look at setting these up. Since this feature is in preview, we have to go in and turn it on in the settings. You can learn more about what preview means and how Microsoft recommends using features that are in preview in their documentation. We'll toss a link in the description. So we're in the Canvas App Studio here, and if we go up to the top, we have this theme dropdown. This is the old version. You can see in here, we've got a few different configurations, but we can't make our own. So you notice that if we click on them, they automatically change across the app and across our old buttons. So let's turn on the new ones. If we go up here and come down to the settings, click on those under the general tab. If we scroll down, we have a setting here called modern controls and themes. Once we have it turned on, we can see that there's a new item in the side menu here called themes. So when we open it up, we see we have a few themes here, not as many as before, but they look a little different. Let's add a few modern controls to this screen, and then we'll change the theme a few times to get a feel for it. So now I've got some classic controls over here on the left and their modern counterparts on the right. So as we change the theme, you can see that it actually applies to the classic controls as well. But if it doesn't, you can always click this button here to apply it. We can also add our own custom theme, which we couldn't do before. So we could use something like our company colors to make our app look like it actually belongs to us. So let's come over here and click add a theme. Now we get this new panel where we can choose the theme name. We can optionally choose a font and we can also insert a hex code in here to generate 16 colors in a palette down here. You can play with these sliders to see how they affect the color here. So you can see that it kind of bends the color in one direction or another. You can also play with this slider here and it affects the green a little differently. Before you save your theme, you can expand this down here to see a preview of how it's going to look on all your different controls. You can even interact with these as well. But you can do so much more than just using a single theme across your entire app. You can even reference themes that aren't currently in use, just like any other control or variable in your app. Some of the ways I've used this is to create a entire library of complementary themes that all go well together and look good on the same screen. So in a way, you're almost building a palette of colors that you can choose from. If you're looking to expand your theme palette, but you don't know where to start, Josh has a really cool blog out about color theory and app design that you should go check out. We'll toss a link in the description. Generally, I like to use these in a way where I add one for success, for error or warning, and then also one that's just a default, and I tend to use a company's color to apply that one. Say we have a delete button that's going to do something that we cannot undo. It'll permanently erase the record. We wanna give folks a little bit of a warning that they're about to encounter something like that. So for this, I would use, say, a red theme to kind of highlight to folks that this is potentially a dangerous action. We'll come down here and now we have this color palette property on our modern controls. If we go ahead and click on that, you can see we have our standard ones or we can create a custom one. But I've already created one called warning. So if we click on this and open it in the function bar, we can just spell this out. and you can navigate it just like any other control by using this dot notation. And we also don't need to stick with static colors to use these. Since we can reference them just like any other control, we can also change them dynamically. Here I have a radio group that is set to be 
some of the themes that I've created myself. So I'm referencing these themes directly. So I've got Jigglypuff, Pikachu, and Squirtle in here. So then I've got an icon over here, and I'm setting its color to be the selected theme of this radio group here. You also have to know out colors and then primary as well. So when we go ahead and click on this, it changes our theme. Those are some examples that you can follow to get started with exploring modern themes. Since these are still in preview and under development, maybe Microsoft will introduce these features in a future release, but I'll still submit my wish list to them for consideration. I'd love to see an organization level theme. So envision at either the environment or even the tenant level, configuring a theme for your entire tenant to use that references your colors and your brand. To bridge the gap between my ultimate desire, the organization theme, and something a little more feasible that I can kind of meet in the middle on, it would be to export and import themes. So say you build three custom themes, package them up, and hand them off to another developer to input directly into their app. This could be shared with a file or even like components are currently and just imported directly from the environment. Something even more feasible that Microsoft could add would be colorblind friendly default palettes. So if I knew that two colors would work well together for folks who see colors differently than I do, it would be very helpful if Microsoft could identify those and program them automatically. I'd also love to see a dark mode toggle. So currently, when you place a modern control on a dark background, there's not enough contrast between the text and the background itself to be able to even read the text on the screen. So if we could have a toggle within there that says, this is a dark mode theme, then maybe the text would be white or a higher contrast value that's a lot easier to read. I'm exclusively team dark mode, so this is a big one for me. The final integration or feature that I would love to see would be a model-driven app integration. So envision creating a custom theme that you can apply to your Canvas apps and your model-driven apps. So it could apply to buttons and your header bar and also your business process flows or maybe even embedded Canvas apps within your model-driven app. It would look so sleek and cohesive and really be great. So if you're not currently using all these new modern controls, as you saw, we can also apply them to the classic controls as well. I'm really excited about these modern themes because they've sped up my development, made everything look so much more cohesive, and they're just easy to use. And they look nice. So if you're excited about modern themes, go ahead and give this a like. If not, go ahead and comment and tell me why. And either way, subscribe to our channel. If you want to explore these in more depth with us, come join our community and you'll get access to some features and some other things that we've written that you don't get to see online.